。今日我好高兴，好荣幸啊！诶、呃，我哋今日请到塔伯卡咧，都迪格斯嚟嘅调配大师中嘅大师 ，Mr. Harvey， 咁啊接受我哋访问。Today is my lucky day because I'm sitting next to the master of master brander from Tapa Calera de Garcia, Mr. Javier. My pleasure to meet you. Thank you.、Yeah. My pleasure. I know you are very busy.、Uh, just be quick questions for you. Okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The first question is、uh, Tapa Calera de Garcia have many brands, if,、uh, all high premium, forty cigars, but they have different flavor, they have different strength. How do you get the brandings of each brands to divide its own character? I, I think it is important to mention that Tabacalera de Garcia、uh, is already 54 years old.、Mm -hmm. In these 54 years, Tabacalera and its brands has been growing because we started practically with one or two brands、uh, in 1971.、Mm -hmm. When, when it doesn't matter. I mean, whichever is the market, it could be USA, it could be、uh, European, Asia.、Mm -hmm. Uh, we normally are, are required、uh, receive certain characteristics. For example, when we created the first blend of Vega Fina, the classic Vega Fina blend, we we were required of a blend, okay,、uh, in a, in the mild range, mild, not 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 too strong, not too slow, but mild, mild blend, with. A certain characteristic aroma, okay, not too much complexity, and we created after with the with the grupo、uh, grupo de maestro. Those days we created the blend of Vega Fina Classic. Okay, easy to smoke for everybody. Easy to smoke for everybody. Okay, and this is one one example. When when we were asked to to create, for example, let's say well. The Monte Cristo regular blend from the United States. Okay, that was a very tough moment to that for that particular blend because it was more than thirty years ago. And we we were defining the blend with not 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 too in the mild range, but in a little bit higher, not too much higher. We also、uh, the components in that day, and we were using in those days Connecticut shade wrapper from the U.S. Okay, it、uh, ha has a particular blend for that particular smoke. It, it took more than eight months to create that cigar that was accepted by the marketing, sales and marketing team. The market depends on the, the flavor of the cigar, right? Flavor, aroma,、uh, strength. All those three things combine complexity. Because you are creating a cigar today, for example, even though today we have more complex blends, if we are going to make the Monte Cristo regular blend from the U.S. market, it has to be with the same recipe as the one we started. Because the smoker of Monte Cristo regular brand, when he's going to buy that cigar box, he's expecting. The flavor, the aroma, the strength that he's been smoking for many years. Oh yes, of course. And that is why it is important for the factories to maintain the consistency of the brands that are already created. You know, full body, or you know, that is a different creation. But everything depends in what the market is requiring in the moment. Okay. Sorry, I have a question. Yes. You're talking about consistency. consistency. You sold those four million cigars, forty million, forty million per year. Yes. What's the secret to keep the consistency? I just、uh, went to the Bacalera factory. We use a lot of、uh, scientific methods to do the consistency, right?、Mm -hmm. The consistency starts with the tobacco, with the leaf tobacco that you are buying every year from your from the tobacco growers. From the regions, from the areas of those regions, you have to keep as traditional as possible. We have to also have a, a, a minimum two years of tobacco inventory in the warehouse, okay? To make you can, with that you can keep producing cigars if you have a year that the crop was no good, okay? But at the end, okay, with those tobaccos that were bought. And where age for that particular brand, those tobaccos are aside. 
okay? Control. Uh, control. And the people that make normally those cigars, we try to maintain not to sh not to sh shift it from any other. Try to maintain the consistency also on the team that is making the cigar. Okay. So the less things that you change, the less things that you change on a factory point of view, is the better because you know that weather, rain. Uh, changes every year, every year yeah. in different regions. So you try to be, try to reduce the possibility of those changes. That's the master brand is like you to do consistency every year. Every uh, year. Yes. yes. Second question: If I am a cigar beginner, yes. and this is my first time to see uh, a Bacalera de Garcia cigar, what would you recommend? What brand or what? What uh, retailers do you? Yes, I will. I will recommend. As a matter of fact, is what I recommend to someone that is asking me. I will follow the same steps that my mentor, Jose Sejas, in 1996, when I joined Tabacalera de Garcia, okay? He saw me smoking a cigar, because I was starting to smoke cigars, and he saw me smoking a dark cigar, you know, complex cigar, mm -hmm. and he said to me, stop, stop. You are going to start with this cigar, which was the Vega, Vega Fina Classic. Mm. It was a mild like cigar, that. and he said to me, and it's the same thing I said to everybody, if you're going to start smoking cigar, you try smoking mild cigar, not too complex, for at least the time, eight months, a year, one in the morning if you want, one in the afternoon, after the coffee, if you, if you drink coffee, if not, one in the morning, one in the afternoon. You have to, you have to develop your palate. You, you, if you start with a strong cigar or something that you are not able to manage, you are going to get frustrated, okay? So the best thing is to get you, you have to get prepared. It's try to, from the slow, from the from the mild from side level. to develop your palate, okay? Level to level, to even level. And then you go easily. Through the years you go and you're going to be making uh, new trials, new, you know. That's the way yeah, I, yeah, I yeah, did so it so and so I, the way I recommend it. Very logical, very logical. Yes. The first question is very personal. If uh, today is the end of the world, or you just cast to the island, yes. you can only pick one uh, Tabacalera de Garcia cigar. What will you pick? No, no, no. no. Question, I will have to say, uh, in my personal, my personal, uh, I will have to say Monte Cristo epic. Epic, epic. epic. Yellow, yellow band. Plan. Yellow band. I think it was the one, it was the, I think it because it was the blend that probably we got too much involucrated and we got a, a very a great success. And it was, I, I think it was, still is one of, one of the blends that I more, uh, you know, enjoy. Enjoy. With the Monk, with the Vega Fina 1998, with the Romeo by Romeo Murieta. Uh, uh, I mean, uh, from nine, 2011, uh, 2000, I would say 2011, 2012, we developed a huge amount of magnificent brands, blends that are today even, you know, in the market, still in the market. Uh, and I would say that particular one is the one I would speak to. You're passionate. I'm passionate. Okay. Last question. Uh, what's your personal favorite uh, to drink it? A pairing with cigar. What's your favorite drink? Definitely Dominican Age Rum. Okay. That's all my, my questions. Thank you very much, Mr. Hafi. Thank you. Pleasure again. Thank you. Always nice to have you here. And uh, last but not least, uh, can you say hi to our Chinese cigar lovers? Absolutely. Uh, I want to thank all of you, uh, our people from China. As a matter of fact, we, we do have a very, uh, let's say, strange relation with some of our people as well uh, that related with the company. Uh, and I really appreciate this group that are here Thank with you. us today in our new facility, the Tabacalera de Garcia. I, we invite all of you to come, not only to Tabacalera de Garcia, but our beautiful country of Dominican Republic. Thank you again, and for sure we will see you in the future, in the near future, in our facility. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you again.